This distillery has been here since 1843 and we've been making whiskey here since the railway came. This place is really, really special to us. The product is named after the place and the place is called Glenmorangie. We're one of the biggest malt whiskey brands in the country. We're about number four or five in the world. We're currently selling about 12 million bottles a year. Sustainability for us is about a profitable business, a planet that is protected, and our communities and people that we work with. Our target is to be carbon neutral by 2040. If you're making a product like whiskey that you keep for 10 or 15 or 20 years before you sell it, thinking long term is a really natural thing for us to do. We boil liquid all day long, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We use a lot of energy. The first phase has been using our waste streams to generate gas and that supports about 17% of our energy needs. Unfortunately, the rest of our energy was heavy fuel oil, which is a really nasty fuel to be burning. It's polluting and it has a very high CO2 content. This is a remote location, north of Inverness. There isn't much infrastructure. The gas grid actually ends 16 miles from here. And actually there's not enough gas in that pipe to supply us. Elikin Biogas Solution UK does two things. On one hand, we produce biomethane out of biogas, which we have take from anaerobic digestion plants. And on the second hand, we supply biomethane to industries for industrial applications. Here at Glamorangi, we have proposed a solution where we bring compressed natural biomethane from a station in Fordun because the distillery is basically off the grid. First, we start taking the gas from a gas main at a filling station next to Aberdeen, pull the gas from the grid, we odorize it, then we compress it to 250 bars. That gas is then used to fill trailers, which can carry up to 10 tons each. For the first time ever, we used composite cylinders, type 4 cylinders, for the transportation of compressed natural gas. The composite cylinder technology entitles us to carry twice as much gas per trailer as usual. We have to deliver gas on a continuous basis to Glamorangi 24-7, 365 days a year. We built a station for the customer, which we own and operate, and the station delivers on average about 450 cubic meters per hour of gas to the distillery. The trailer comes in full, and the driver will unload that full trailer into pressure reduction station while taking off a trailer which is empty, and we call that a swap. The gas is then depressurized from 250 bars into two steps to end up at two bar, which is the standard pressure from a gas main, and then that gas is piped to the distillery across the road. Using compressed natural gas versus diesel is a 30% reduction in our CO2. It's a much better option than many of the alternatives we have, such as burning oil or diesel. I do believe for remote communities or remote sites, if you have enough demand, it's a really valid solution. And certainly for us, it's been transformative.